This video is brought to you by IT Pro TV. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at itpro.tv. All right, the other thing we need to verify is when this domain controller came up, there are what are called SRV records in DNS, service records in DNS. And when a client boots up, when a workstation boots up or whatever, it says, hey, I need to authenticate against the domain controller, how do I find it? It looks to the active I mean, to the DNS, and DNS will tell it where to find the domain controllers. So when we promoted this guy, it should have created some DNS records for it, right? Yep. Well, let's verify. So I'm going to launch the DNS administrative tool. Now remember, we do have two DNS servers in the mix. Oh shoot! I am glad you mentioned that. I forgot. So our workstation, I mean our, our server here, IT Pro TV Server One. It is a DNS server, but it's not actually pointed to use itself. So nobody's actually using this domain controller. And uh, oh, you know, but it set itself up thanks to the Active Directory. I, I, I didn't yep. think about that either. But uh, so it's going ahead and pre-populated itself. If I look under the four lookup zones, it's got lab.itprotv. And as I look in there, See all these folders that have underscores, underscore sites, underscore TCP, underscore UDP, right? And this whole MSDCS, that's Microsoft Domain Controller Services. MSDCS, or underscore MSDCS.lab.itpro.tv. This is where all the SRV records for the Active Directory are stored. If we're looking for a domain controller, we just come in here under domain controller, and we'll get our list. And what do I see in here? I see IT Pro TV DC1, that's the one we had before the show, and IT Pro TV mm. Server 1, that's the one that we just created. Yep. And we'll see it for Kerberos, the different services that are available via Active Directory. Kerberos, LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access, Authentication Protocol. Yeah. Now, these SRV records, they should have been created automatically by the wizard, right? And, and, and I can see here that they have, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say for a moment that they weren't created, right? Maybe I had my server pointed at the wrong DNS servers when I built it up, and so it didn't automatically create them for us, all right? Well, to fix it is really not that big of a deal, right? So, so let me show you. For example, if I take this MSDCS here, uh, or here, I'll go under like lab.itpro.tv, and maybe I'll, I'll just delete that out of there. We'll, we'll have some fun with this. Uh, so I'm just going to delete these guys. We'll get rid of them. Hey, it's Nate. I know. We're just going to randomly delete <laughs> junk. All right. And, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll delete some of these other ones. So, you know, I, I, I do my install. I fire it up. And, and what do I find? You know, I'm, I'm missing all these records that were supposed to get created. So, so what do I do? Do I panic? No, it actually has a pretty easy way to fix it. So every time your domain controller boots up, it's going to try and create these records, these records that are missing. So I'm going to take my domain controller, and I need to tell it to use itself for DNS, because right, right now it's using the other domain controller. So I just need to change it to use itself. Oh, that didn't work out. Let me get in my network and sharing center here. All right, so right now it's set to use that other domain controller. I'll make that other domain controller like it's backup. And for the primary, I'm going to set it to use itself, dot 203. All right, so now if it does a lookup against those, the DNS server, those records are missing. It's not going to be happy about that, right? But all I have to do is, well, I guess if I'm not worried about connectivity, I could just reboot the domain controller. Right. But there is a service. <coughs> There's a service called NetLogon. It handles network logons, which, as you can imagine, is pretty important for a domain controller. And if we restart the NetLogon service, that'll make it try and recreate those Active Directory records, those, those uh, uh, DNS records that are now missing, right? So I'm going to go in here and find NetLogon. There it is. I'll just restart it. And when that NetLogon service restarts, it'll look to DNS. If any of those service records are missing, It'll try and recreate okay. them. Might take a while. Hopefully not. There we go. So it's already created up. the underscore MSDCS. There's sites, TCP. See how it just rebuilt every one? You guys saw me delete them. I, I wiped them out. 
Now I do have a slight problem. If I look in here like under TCP, see how SRV1 is there, but DC1 is missing. My other domain controller is missing. So I really need to restart NetLog on, on that other server also. So I'm just going to connect to that other one. I'm assuming it'll let me connect. Firewall might block me. Nope, it let me in. And All I'll right. just restart its NetLog on service also. That'll force it to create it. Now, you might be saying, wait a minute, Don. Can't you just run IP config slash register DNS? You can, that'll register the host name, but not all the Active Directory service records. You gotta right. restart the NetLog on service for that. 